Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Uh, so, uh, we are going to be heading into the Omega Ruins. Uh, it is very important to keep one thing in mind when it comes to the Omega Ruins, and that's that there is a little bit of a mini-game uh, initially that is uh, decided immediately when you enter Omega Ruins, and that is there's a bunch of chests inside. And... Um, Again, it's, uh, it's kind of determined as you enter for the first time. So again, just keep that in mind. And I'll pick the commentary right up after our characters are done speaking. What is this place? 700 years ago, a monk who defied the teachings was sentenced here. Oh, the traitor Omega, yeah? Omega's loathing of Yevon has turned him into a fiend. They say he liked it underground, out of the light. So, he's here? Scared? Not a chance. Okay, uh, so again, back to the, uh, the minigame. Uh, basically, there's uh, a total of 12 chests in here. And, um, by the way, if it's your first time and you don't understand how Omega Ruins works, uh, do not save inside here. Uh, make sure... Uh, yeah, I guess that you that you keep that in mind. All right, so anyways, as I was saying before, there's 12 total chests in here, and they are determined, or I should say what is in them, uh, is determined the first time that you enter. So you cannot come in here and save and then reload and kind of change the orientation. Also, once you've started opening the chests, um, you can save, I guess, in the middle of it, but that's not going to help you out. Um, the only thing I suppose that uh, saving during the middle of the minigame does for you... Um, yeah, actually, no, I'm sorry. You do not want to save during it either. Um, again, what you want to do, though, is let's just say... Um, and, and we're going we're gonna to run into it here. I'm already into... So this is the fifth chest already. So I go off to the right, grab the first two chests, and then off to the left and get the next three. Uh, and then there's three more that we'll, we'll do next... And then there's a there's four at the at the very end. But uh, what you can do is you know again save outside, and then if you want to save a, a new file once you get inside. I suppose if you if you want to do that, um, that doesn't do you any good if you want to get all of the chests. But uh, you know if you don't care about that, and I don't think you should, uh, then you can kind of play with this a little bit, or you've got some options. But <clears throat> All right, so if you notice here, so we, we opened up two of the, the chests in this set. And by the way, they're all, the, the sets are, are kind of linked. Uh, or what I mean by that is if you fight uh, and you end up in one of these battles here, if you open up a, a chest and it turns out to be enemies in it, uh, what that means is the rest of the uh, chests in that set completely disappear. And... Um, and yeah, and uh, and so you'll you'll lose out on on any of those other ones. Now, here I got at least somewhat lucky, right? Where the the chest that I opened that had enemies in it was the last one of the set, and so um, you know I wasn't all that concerned about that. I basically what I did here was I determined or I decided uh, before I started opening chests that I just wasn't going to reset my game anymore because I had I had done that actually a couple of times. Um, I just don't think that any of the rewards here are particularly interesting. Yeah, sure, there's like some friend spheres and maybe some level four key spheres and stuff, but um, for the long, or uh, for the for the most case, this stuff is just not interesting. Especially all of the weapons and armor that come from it. So I just didn't really care about that. But uh, there's a phantom ring. Uh, here is the cactar wizard. Uh, that's the warmonger, and then what did we get last here? Teleport sphere times two. Um, the reward for getting all 12 treasure chests is something like 99 warp spe spheres or something like that, but who cares? Um, they're, they're interesting, I guess, right? Uh, let's just, you know, teleport anywhere you want on the, on the sphere grid, but again, who cares? Those are... You know that's that's not really going to do us any good. It can get us to some, I guess, some spots that are locked behind level four key spheres. But you need to unlock all that stuff really anyway. So again, I didn't find that uh, that that was, you know, super interesting. But 
Anyways, off uh, off into the corner here is a is a glyph. We'll need to uh, interact with that in order to uh, get to one of the uh, one of the chests, which is a teleport sphere. Also, there's an L bed primer, uh, you know, pretty pretty deep in here. But um, I, again, as I've already kind of got you know or, uh, reloaded my um, or compiled the L bed. Uh, dictionary based off of an old save. Obviously, we're not going to then see it on the ground. But, um, but yeah, as I said, I just—I'll be honest. I don't think that the the you know the chest mini game is worth, honestly, really worth even uh, reloading your game at all for. I just don't think that those rewards are. You know, they're certainly not one-time rewards. There's other ways to get that stuff. And again, the weapons and armor are junk. You know, so. Um, you know, not something that I was that worried about. But anyways, right in here is where the the Albed Primer is at, um, or normally at, or should be at, I suppose. And um, that's you know something that uh, that you can grab if you want. But uh, at this point here, uh, you know, after we activate the glyph, we can then interact here with this, I guess, kind of another glyph on the wall, and then that's going to open up the path to the. Um, the teleport sphere there's really actually only one chest in this area that's a static chest i would say again all of the other ones are t uh, part of the mini game but um you know this is the a teleport sphere and you know i don't know again i i already had so many of these from playing blitz ball that i just didn't really care that much but um but anyways here's here's where it's at or this is the path to get it uh, but again so anyways back to the kind of the mini game uh, one of the other things that you can do is, okay, so let's just say that you want to, you don't want to be here forever, but you want to get a couple of the chests at least. What you can do is save immediately on the uh, inside. And then you can actually run around and open up the chests and learn where the mimics are at if, you know, if you're, if you, if there are any, and there most likely will. The chances of you opening all 12 chests are almost nothing. It's like half a percent. So it's, it's garbage. Um, but again, what you can do is, uh, save on the inside, learn where all of the mimics are at, and then just always either just not open those mimic chests or, uh, open them last in the set. And, uh, that is the way to, you know, maximize the amount of treasures. And also keep in mind that in each set, there's only one possible mimic. So, you know, again, at, at worst, like for the first set, cause it's only two, well, then that means you should be able to open one and be fine. Uh, in all of the sets, or the two sets of three, same deal. You can at least open up two chests. Um, uh, and that means that at worst, you can open up eight chests. Um, and that's that's if there is a mimic in every single one of the, the sets. But anyways, that is all I've got for this one. As always, hope the guide was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.